Hey everyone, I'll be showing you how to make a hack and slash game using Unreal Engine 4.8 and I'm assuming you already know how to use Unreal Engine because I won't be going over the very basics of it and what you're seeing right now is my end of university project and if you want to try it out for yourself and get a feel of exactly what we're going to be making you can download it, there's a link in the video description I'll also provide assets to all of you so as we progress through the series we're using the same files and other than that we'll go over a small table of content and this thing isn't uh, set in stone or anything because as we progress I'll be adding things to it maybe who knows so some of the global things in this series is we're gonna do a level select a character select and the ability to toggle the camera on and off so it locks onto the boss and so on. We'll have a hit counter display and HUDs. So for the warrior class, the melee class, you'll be able to switch between offensive and defensive mode. This is to show you how to access two different animation sets on the same character during gameplay. And he's gonna have uh, spells that are gonna change his stats, change the enemy stats, and to get your health back will do a HP drain so every time you attack the enemy you get a percentage back and obviously this number two can be altered later on for the range class the mage you'll have rapid fire abilities you'll have charge attack so you can charge for three different times and when you release the mouse button based on your charge you perform a different spell and finally for the range character we're gonna make a summon an AI that you can command to follow you around or go to the boss and attack the boss I'm not too sure about this because I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit. I I didn't I didn't even have this in my own game, so it'll be something new to try and I think it's gonna be fun. Finally, we're gonna have a boss that follows you around. He can change his stats or your stats, and he's gonna attack you based on how close or how far you are to him. So the further you are, he'll probably use projectiles or leap at you. We'll see when the time comes. Okay, let's do a quick overview of the editor. So in the content browser here I have, you should start off with a uh, content, starter content, sorry, and third person VP. What I added is the boss folder, the general folder, the mage folder, warrior, and widgets. So in the boss, for example, this applies to the mage and the warrior too. I have the character folder and in here I have everything to do with his skeletal mesh and possibly props. You'll see in the warrior example. I have all their animation files here. So you see I have the props for the warrior, for example, the sword, the shield, and the greatsword. Uh, these aren't part of the skeletal mesh, and I'll explain why when we, when we get there. When you import animations, you might see uh, take 001, for example. This is in the files I provided to you. You could just delete the files with the, the name take 001 in them. You'll see the characters in the t-pose, you don't need that. So here in the browser uh, window, what I did is I just applied material to the basic uh, elements they give you in the starter content. And we'll be working with this. And we'll start off by making two new levels. I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.